Welcome back to my channel. We are asked to find the value of K in this right angled triangle. All right, first, um, being that this is a right angled triangle, this is telling us the first step you will need to take. And what is that first step? We are going to apply the Pythagoras theorem. Okay? We have to apply the Pythagoras theorem. If not, they were not supposed to give us, they would have given us a right angled triangle. All right, so let's apply the Pythagoras theorem. According to Pythagoras, if you have a right angle triangle, okay, this is C, this is A, and this is B. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared, okay? So, that means that we have our hypotenuse here is K. So we have k to the power of 3 squared is equal to, we have k squared plus k squared squared. All right? When you have a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. That means we have k to the power of 6 is equal to k to the power of 2 plus k to the power of 4. Now let's transfer this to, to this side of the equation. All right? If we do that, we have k to the power of 6 minus k to the power of 4 minus k squared is equal to 0. Now, if you look at this, we can factorize k squared. So if we do that, we have k to the power of 2 brackets. When this is divided by this, we'll be left with k to the power of 4. How? Remember that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. Okay? So... That means that whatever I'm going to have here, if I add it to 2, I'm supposed to get 6. Which is why I had to do 6 minus 2, which will give me 4. So, minus the same thing here. k to the power of 4 divided by k to the power of 2 will be left with k to the power of 2. Minus 1. This divided by itself is 1. Is equal to 0. Now, remember that a, if a multiplied by b is equal to zero it simply means that either a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero therefore we can write that k squared is equal to zero or k to the power of four minus k squared minus one is equal to zero all right now, from here, if we take square root of both sides, we are going to see that k is equal to 0. Now, let us look at this diagram. You can see that what we have here, we have lengths. And our length can never be equal to 0. Okay? So, k can never be less than 0. Okay? It shouldn't be less than or equal to 0 because we are talking of length. Therefore, this is what we are going to reject that answer. So this is rejected because it's not possible. Rejected. So we're not going to focus on this, okay? So let's focus on that. Now, if you look at this k to the power of 4, let me write it here. k to the power of 4 minus k squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, k to the power of 4 is same thing as k squared raised to the power of 2, right? minus k squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, remember, since we have k squared here, k squared here, we can say, we can say, let k squared be equal to x. Okay? So, because I'm trying to reduce this from fourth degree to a quadratic equation. So, if we say let k squared be equal to x. Then we are going to write this as x squared 
minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. Then we can now solve this using our um, quadratic equation formula. Yes, and the quadratic equation formula states that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything divided by 2a. Now, our a here is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our b is coefficient of x, which is minus 1. And our c is our constant, which is minus 1 as well. If we substitute this into this equation, then we are going to have x is equal to minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 squared minus 4 multiplied by our a is 1 and our c is minus 1. Everything divided by 2 multiplied by 1. So our x is equal to minus minus is plus, plus or minus square root of, now minus 1 squared is 1, minus, minus 4 minus 1, minus 4 multiplied by minus 1 is plus 4. So we have plus 4 divided by 2. If this is the first time you are coming across our channel, Please click the subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our videos, all right? Please give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. So this is where we are. So we can say that x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2, okay? But k squared is equal to x, all right? k squared is equal to x. So we have replaced x with k squared. So we have k squared is equal to 1 plus or minus root 5 divided by 2. Now, remember that our k cannot be negative. It's not possible because we are talking of length. So first of all, if we square a non-negative integer we are not going to get a negative number so any negative here should be removed immediately because this is same thing as excuse me this is better for me all right <laughs> all right let's continue now because this means that our k k squared is one plus root 5 over 2, and k squared is also equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Now, you notice that 1 minus root 5 over 2 will give us a negative number. So what is that telling us? That this is not part of it. We are not going to take that. We are going to reject that. So the only k squared we are going to use is this. 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. So to get the value of k, to get the value of k, we take square root of both sides. Square root of both sides. Okay? So if we do that, we have square root of k squared is equal to the square root of, I don't know if you can see this, so let me come up here. So it's going to be square root of k squared. Um, is equal to the square root of 1 plus root 5 over 2. So this, we can see this, we have k is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. So it means that we have two values of k here, that k is equal to uh, square root of 1 plus root 5 over 2, and k is also equal to the square root of minus root 1 plus root 5 over 2. And minus root 1 plus root 5 over 2 will give us negative. So this means that the only valid value of k is the square root of 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. You can press this in your calculator and get your answer in decimal 
number thank you so much for watching see you in my next video